Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So it seems that Microsoft could be working on an interesting new AR feature in Edge, which means that according to a new experimental flag that's recently become available in Edge Canary 129, which is the latest preview version, that the browser would be able to run a small language model called Far 3 Mini locally in Edge without needing to be hooked up and connected to the internet. Now, um, this is all according to an experimental flag. So as always, to head to our experimental flags, we enter edge colon forward slash forward slash flags into the address bar and just type in PHI3, FAR3. And here's the flag, prompt API for FAR3 mini. Now, to some extent or the other, a similar feature has already started to be tested in Google Chrome called Gemini Nano. And as you can see from the description of this flag, there's quite a lot going on. So I'm going to try and break this down in a simple format as possible for the purpose of today's video. So we're kind of all on the same page and understanding more or less where this feature could possibly be headed. Now, first of all, um, it says enables the exploratory prompt API. So by that, we can see that this is still very much in its early stages of development and it's still early days. So this feature may never launch or see the light of day. So just keep that in mind. They carry on to say, allowing you to send natural language instructions to a built-in large language model, FAR3 Mini in Edge as mentioned. Exploratory APIs are designed for local prototyping to help discover potential use cases. So. Um, as mentioned at the outset, the data will be processed locally um, in Edge and not needing to be hooked up to process that data through an internet and over an internet connection. And yeah, as mentioned, may never launch. They carry on to say, these explorations will inform the built-in AR roadmap. The API is primarily intended for natural language processing tasks such as summarizing, classifying or rephrasing text. It is not suitable for use cases that require factual accuracy, example, answering knowledge questions. So just keep that in mind. So there's quite a couple of interesting things going on there. So when it comes to simple tasks like summarizing or rephrasing text, at the end of the day, basically what this will mean is that you'll be able to then possibly right click on some text you've highlighted and then it'll use the AI to process um, summarizing or rephrasing that text locally in the browser. Now, obviously, a good question at this stage would be, but Copilot can do the same thing, which is already available uh, in Windows and on Windows and also in the Edge browser. But for Copilot, you need to be hooked up to the internet. So for Copilot, everything is processed over the internet, where with this FAR3 Mini, it's not. According to this flag, everything is taking place locally in the browser and on the device. So what this also means is that um, things could get a lot faster because the data is processed locally, not needing to be processed over and through an internet connection. So it could be faster and also to some degree or the other, because it's locally and not over the internet, could be a little bit more private than Copilot. But obviously we are dealing with Microsoft, so obviously privacy would always be a hot contention of debate. Now, at the end of the day, what this basically means is it's going to offer a lot more powerful AI capabilities directly in the browser and could also uh, be more cost effective because data is processed locally and offline and not um, phoning home, going through the Microsoft servers and so on. But my only question with this new FAR3 Mini if it ever does see the light of day and make its way into the Edge browser, is how is it going to affect your system resources? Um, because Edge in its default state is quite resource hungry, um, in my personal opinion. And I have posted a video on how you can slim down and uh, basically declutter and speed up Microsoft Edge. And I'll actually leave that link down below in the end screen. But obviously, the big question for me would, how would this um, impact your system resources with all this local processing going on? But as mentioned, still early days. So um, there's really not too much else to say about this at this stage, but I'm going to keep my eye on this 
FAR 3 Mini, this um, language model, which could have and possibly be processed locally in the Edge browser without being having to be hooked up to the internet. And if I do get any more info, I'll keep you guys posted. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.